Hello guys, it's your boy Nobly from Sweden and in today's video I have finally completed my dream CSGO loadout. Now this took me quite a while and while this might not be the definitive favorite loadout, it's definitely my favorite loadout I've had in many many years. Now the theme I'm going with this inventory is a Miami, like a Miami Vice, which I mean I love. The colors of my room are this color, the LED sign that Sidax sent to me is all also in this color, you can see my background is literally those neon colors. This looks really nice. Now, it's been quite a while since I made a video like this, more skin related, but I thought now that I've finally got the loadout I'm very happy with, I had to show it. But before we get into that, this video was brought to you by Skins Monkey. They're a trading site for CSGO skins and it's just as simple as that. It's a good way to change up your loadout easily every so often to play with some new skins. And they've got a 30 percent deposit bonus and if you use the link in the description or put the code anomaly you get another five percent for a total 35 percent deposit bonus if you're making your first trade you can also use code anomaly and get up to five dollars for free they've also got a freebies tab for giveaways which you can join for free so if you want to try them out then please use the link in the description and thank you skins monkey once again for sponsoring this video Starting off with the knife, the knife I've picked for this loadout is the Karambit Fade with a very good fade. Now, while this isn't really my favorite knife in the world, it definitely fits this loadout because it is very pink, kind of neon looking. This is a quite expensive knife. It's like 4,000 euro now, which is insane. I obviously bought it quite a while ago for quite a bit less. It is a 99.3% fade. As you can see, the corner, it's not the best. And for the Gloves, I have chosen Sport Gloves Vice, but not any type of Sport Gloves Vice, no. For this loadout, I have Sport Gloves Vice Factory New. Now, if you don't know why this is very crazy, every single glove is float capped at 0.06, meaning it's extremely rare to get in Factory New, as you can see here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the second most expensive pair of glove in the CSGO. These are over 20,000 dollars dollar gloves, which is absolutely stupid that I have a loadout with these included, but my plan isn't to keep these. Even though they look amazing, my plan is to downgrade to a very nice field-tested pair or maybe a minimal wear pair, because I can't justify having a skin that's this expensive as part of the loadout. I mean, shit, that's like a house in Sweden. And now, the gloves I'm super satisfied with, you know, they look perfect, but there is actually a few other knives that I think might fit better better than the one that I have, but they're just so god-awful expensive. Uh, one of them would obviously be the Karambit Blue Gem, which I think fits insanely well. Now you're fitting blue with blue instead of the uh, pink and the gold, but this knife sadly is uh, like uh, two million dollars, so obviously that's not gonna happen. And you can see this knife-glove combo is very, very nice. You have the pink from the glove, the pink from the knife, the yellow from the agent skin I'm using, which of course is the Sir Blue the Miami Daryl, who also has these very nice vibrant blue and pink sort of neon colors. Because remember guys, it's not only what you see, it's what the others in game see as well. And if they see your character pull up like this, you best believe that they know you've got swagger. <laughs> And for my CT agent, of course, I'm using Blueberry's Buckshot, because there obviously isn't any pink agent skin on the CT side. However, the blue sleeves of this agent fit in actually really well with the blue of the vice gloves and the rest of the blue skins that I have, which, uh, yeah, I kind of prefer the CT side just because the sleeves fit in with most of the skins as well. Now, for the first skin in my loadout, the Glock, I've got the pink DD pad with four London Conspiracy stickers. Oh shit, bots are killing each other. Now, the reason I've chosen this Glock, obviously the pink fits in really well, but these stickers are a reoccurring theme in my inventory because they are pink and blue in sort of these neon colors, so they fit with almost every skin that I have. I chose this pattern ID on the Glock, by the way, because it has a nice amount of pink where the stickers aren't placed. So yeah, very happy with this Glock. Now, as the counter-terrorist pistol, I've chosen the Cortex Star Trek Factory New with four of these Skill Surf my 
Miami Hollow stickers. Yeah, damn, this is really nice. And I don't have a P2000 because I never play it, but I actually have another USP. It's the target acquired with these four cologne 2015 mouse foil. They don't look as good because they're more red when you hold it like this, but yeah, that's why I chose the Cortex for the official loadout. Next up for the dual Berettas, I have these ones. They don't fit in very well, the Melon Dramas, and the reason I have them is just as a temporary uh, dual Berettas until they add something nicer, because these are kinda shit. My P250, however, is very nice. I have the Undertow Stat Track Factory New, of course, with four Skill Surf Bubblegum Holos. These are quite cheap stickers, but they fit in very well, because the only thing this skin is missing is the pink, it's already fully blue, so I thought, why not add these? It kinda makes it fit in a little better. And now, for one of the more important skins in my loadout, the Tech 9 Decimator Stat Track Factory New, of course, with four London Conspiracy stickers here as well. I really, really like this one, because it fits perfectly, it's very vibrant in-game, and obviously when you see it in-game, it looks really good and fits super well. As for the 5.7, I don't actually have this one yet. I've bought it and I'm waiting for it to be delivered, but it's the Stat Track Factory new fairy tale with four London conspiracy on it as well. I think it fits really well and it has this sort of playful pattern on it, which is why I chose it. And same with the Deagle Stat Track Factory new Ocean Drive. This was a very expensive skin. The skin alone without the stickers was like $420 or something, and it's got four of the Miami Skill Surf Holo as well, and this this definitely has to be in like the top five favorite skins that I have in this combo because it's so vibrant. It really sticks out in game, which of course I like. Moving on to the SMGs, the first SMG I have is the Mac 10 Neon Rider with four of the Skill Surf Holo here. Again, Miami. This one I don't really need to say anything. It fits super well. I'm just a little sad. The blue isn't perfect, but still I think it fits really well, and it's not something I'm stressing about. And I'm kind of sad to say, but for my MP7, MP5 SD, MP9, PP Bison, P90, I don't have any skin, because there just isn't one that looks well. I have this replacement, Death by Kitties, but it doesn't look very good, so I've decided to just not use any specific skin until they add a nice pink and blue one. The only other SMG that I have is the UMP45 Wild Child Stat Track Factory New, and on this one I chose two of the Bubblegum Skill Surf and two of the Miami skill surf. I'm not really a fan of mixing stickers. I like having four of the same one, but for this skin, I think it kind of worked, and I really like it. Now, moving on to the heavy skins, I also have some problem, because I don't have a Nova skin. There isn't one that fits with these gloves, I think, which is why I'm waiting for one to be released here as well. However, one that I am extremely proud about is my XM1014. Oh my god, look at that! It fits so well! This is the XM1014 XOXO, and this is pattern ID 237. And as you can see, this one looks insane. If we just go on the marketplace right now and inspect one randomly, you'll see it has a lot of green, some white spots, but this pattern ID looks perfect. It's got a little bit of purple, but it kinda fits. And you can see, even the barrel is mostly blue and pink. Now, this might not be the perfect pattern ID, but I am very, very happy with it, especially since I found it for market price and it fits so well. Now, for the next shotgun, I have the Sword of Kiss and Love. As you can already see, it's got the London Conspiracy stickers on it. This one fits really nice. I'm glad I got the little bit of extra blue from the stickers, but as you can see on the backside, you have a little, little bit of blue, but I think the stickers really add a lot to this one. Now, for the Mag 7, I have the Spectrum because I'm on the Spectrum. This one has the four Skill Surf Miami as well. The skin itself, you see it's got some pink on it, some blue, but I think without the stickers, it wouldn't fit as well as it does with them. For the next heavy, we have the M249 Downtown, which is a beast of a gun. This one has four London Conspiracy stickers on it as well, just to boost the sort of a cool factor about it. And I haven't even mentioned yet, but most of these skins that I've bought have a very good float, so this one is 
0.0007. I like to have skins that I'm keeping, obviously, to be a better float, so they are a bit cooler than the regular one. And for the final heavy, I'm not really happy with it, but it's the Negev Power Loader Stat Track Factory New. This one, I think, looks kind of shit, but it's like my replacement until I find a nice one. It's got four of the uh, Bubblegum Skill Surf on it. I hate that it's fully yellow. This is kind of a stretch. This is probably the least favorite skin I have in this setup. Now, moving on to the rifles. My first rifle is the Galil Stat Track Sugar Rush Factory New. Now, this one was quite expensive, and I was a little lucky because I bought it with these stickers already applied to it. But I chose between this one and the Chromatic Aberration Galil as well. Both of them, I think, fit really well. But I ended up going with this one because with the stickers, uh, I think it fit better. And this one has more color on it overall. And for my CT side, Famas, I've got the Prime Conspiracy Factory New with four Skill Surf Miami as well. Fits really well. And I'm glad this pattern, actually, I looked it up specifically because this one has a lot of pink or like red on it. Most of them have a lot more like blue or gray. But this one on the main part of the gun was very pink, which I like. For my M4, I have the Stat Track Factory New Decimator with four Miami Flow holo stickers. This one I really like, and it's the best fitting M4A1S. Obviously, like the Tech 9 Decimator, they fit perfectly. But there's one M4A4 that I would like to get as well, and that's the M4A4 Temukau Stat Track Factory New with four London Conspiracy on it. I don't have this skin, and I'm not gonna buy it right now because it's so outrageously expensive. It's like a thousand dollars. Obviously, since it's from a new case, it might drop even more, so I'm not gonna stress it. I'll just wait and see if it goes down, then I'll buy it. Otherwise, I might buy it for the price it's at. Now, we'll see. And for my AK, which is kind of the centerpiece of this, it's not the most expensive one, but it's the AK Neon Rider with four Rops Foil Krakow 2017. Now, this one, I'm pretty sure I actually bought from a guy, like, way over a year ago. I never really thought more of it. I liked it a lot, and whenever I had vice gloves, I would use this one with the vice gloves. Now that I'm actually going for a full loadout with these colors, this one is so good. It's perfect. The colors fit perfectly. The stickers add some nice coolness to it as well. And fuck me! I love this skin. Next, the SG553. I don't actually have one which is set in stone, but my, like, replacement would be the uh, SG553 Pulse. It doesn't fit perfectly, I think, but for the time being, I think it works, you know. It it's decent. And for my CT side, AUG, I have the Death by Puppy, which is a quite, at least in my eyes, new skin. And I'm happy about this one, because you can see there's a lot of green on the pattern, but when you're holding it like this, there is not a lot of green. And I searched out this pattern specifically, so that when I would play in-game, there would be mostly this cyan blue and pink. There is some green, but it's hidden mostly by the sticker. So yeah, I really, really like this one. God damn. Now, my scout for this combo is the Fever Dream Stat Track Factory New with four skills surf Miami stickers as well. Another scout that fits pretty well is the uh, Turbo Peak. This one also fits, but I have to choose the Fever Dream because you have the blue and the uh, pink in basically the exact same color as the gloves. <laughs> I really like it. I really like it. Now, for the centerpiece, the op, I actually have two ones. The first one is this op Lightning Strike. The purple doesn't fit perfectly, no, but I like it because of the sticker on the scope. I have an LDLC Kato 14 holo on here. This sticker is very expensive. It's like 20,000 euro or something. I don't know. As you can see, it's reflecting blue and pink basically, which uh, makes it really cool, and I like it. But the one that I mostly use because it fits better is the Stat Track Op Chromatic Aberration with four Miami Skill Surf holo as well. This one is 0.007, and I have bought it, but like with some of the other skins, I am waiting on them to be delivered, but I was just so excited to show off the loadout that I could Wait. For the auto sniper on T side, I don't actually have one because there's no nice auto snipers on T side G3 SG1s that are pink and cyan. They all just look kind of shit, so I just decided to not have one because when they release one that fits, I guess I'll buy it and, you know, add it to the loadout. For the time being, uh, yeah, this is what I have to work with. <laughs> that, however, cannot be said for the CT side. On the CT side, I have arguably one of my favorite skins from this entire loadout, and that's the SCAR-20 Splash Jam Factory New 
you with a crown and three skill surf Miami. And now, if you don't know why I think this is so cool, let me tell you. First of all, the Splash Jam is also a skin that is float capped, meaning it is extremely rare to get in factory new condition. It's from the Militia collection, which is really, really old. It was added the 14th August 2013, so it's the first ever update where skins got added to the game. So this is one of the oldest skins in the game, which is really cool. Another thing that's insanely cool is that there exists only 51 of these in Factory New, and the one that I happen to have is number 9 best float, and it's got the crown foil, which, I mean, I'm not gonna say no to. And this is also one of the few skins that I've bought and sold and then instantly regretted selling it. This is because I made a whole video on the rarest skins in CSGO right after I sold this one, and in that video, which is posted on my third channel, and while doing research for that video, I found out there's only 51 of these, and I had one, and I sold it, so I had to rebuy this one for basically double the price of what I sold mine at. This one cost me, actually, people are gonna think this is ridiculous, $1,280 this one cost me, and the crown was already applied, I'm not gonna scrape it, I like it, because then you have a gold hint, you know, I'm not gonna say that it doesn't fit, but yeah, this was very expensive, and definitely I don't think I'm selling this one ever. So yeah, that's my full loadout video of all of the skins that I have now. I don't think this loadout is going to change a lot. I'm not that picky, guys. I just want something that I can look at and be like, hey, damn, that's kind of cool. But I still have both kidneys attached to me, you know? So thank you guys for watching this video. That was my loadout video, my El Final loadout. And now I'm going to have to go explain to my bank why I took a loan of 20,000 to buy these gloves for a fucking video game. <laughs> yeah, yeet.